we didn't really sleep a lot. There was, we're in the sun all day, you know, cameras are in your face 24 seven. You're expected to get married. You're not expected, but you have an opportunity to get married within five weeks. Um, so you really, you want everything to go perfect. Has that been the most difficult part post show is having to deal with the public criticism of your relationship, the backlash and what misconceptions about your relationship do you want to clear up? Yeah. Um, I don't think, sorry, I'm taking a second. No. Um, I don't, it's not fr like I'm not it's not hard to see what the public are saying about us because we know where we are and it, it's just some of the comments are just laughable at, at how wrong it is or like way off the mark it they are um it's what's been hard is the criticism for each of us personally mm -hmm. um because we know each other, we know the person, and I can see what the things that they're saying about him and he can see the things that people are saying about me. And it's like, no, that's not true. Don't let that get to your head. Don't, mm. don't let that affect you. Don't let that change you. With us, we're like, well, we know us, but when it comes to the personal stuff, that's what extra, like that's what stings. Mm -hmm. um, mm. And in terms of what's frustrating with what people do say about our relationship is that, you know, these, really harsh assumptions um, that's really tricky to talk about. And it's just completely wrong. Mm -hmm. It's completely not true. And it's really sad what people are saying. Um, but I kind of mentioned um, in the Cosmo article that we're just surrounding ourselves around our family and our friends who have been nothing but supportive. Not one, not once has someone said in our lives, in our everyday lives, like, oh, should we be worried or, or listening to these comments? They've actually, you know, just told us the same thing. Be true to ourselves. They know us. We know us. We're fine. Mm -hmm. So I would say that's the biggest thing that I we would want to clear up is that these things that people are saying are just absolutely not true. Definitely. Matt, has it been difficult for you as well? Yeah, it's been tough. I mean, <clears throat> I'd say the first day that it really started kind of getting nasty online with some of these accusations and stuff like that was tough to see. Mm -hmm. And and to Colleen's point, you know, it's, we know who we are. You know, it's unfortunate that the world didn't, didn't or doesn't see it as that. Um, but to some point, you know, it, it is what it is. If that's how they're going to feel, then, you know, that's on them. You know, we know how we are. We know who we are. Um, and we love each other to death and we're just continuing to do our thing. You know, that's, it, it's a tricky topic to uh, discuss, but um, yeah, it, it hurt being accused of some of the things that, that people are saying. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, clearing it up and, you know, obviously, People got a lot to say. They really do. And I know that, like you said, do you wish that you were able to address this a little bit more at the reunion? Because I know that you said that you wish you were asked about the fallout. So what were you hoping to clear up at the reunion? What were you hoping to, you know, what were you hoping to say that you didn't get to get to say? Um, yeah, I definitely wish that we were asked and I wish that we, um, I wish that we were able to talk about it uh, because I do think that you know, after we left the reunion, I was like, wait, we, and I saw the comments. I'm like, wait, we didn't even, we didn't even talk about this. Like, I wish that we would have been able to give in, been given the time to talk about it. Um, I think that we would have just gone through what we were, and especially Matt, I don't want to take words out of your mouth, <laughs> but what you were going through at the time, because it was a pressure cooker situation. And there were so many other factors that have, that led to our um, fallouts and our fights. That's if we would have been able to talk about it, we probably could have provided a little bit more context. And because from this, an audience standpoint, like I understand where it's like, whoa, where is all this coming from? Where I wish that we would have been able to, and at some point we will say, hey, this is what was happening. I don't want to put words in your mouth. Yeah, no, you're, I mean, you're on it, yeah. And, and I'll kind of, what I wish that we could kind of clear up a little bit more at the reunion was, you know, I think that first fight in Malibu, I mean, there was, there's a lot of factors that go into it. You know, first of all, my past with the trust issues was a big deal. Um, we didn't really sleep a lot. There was, we're in the sun all day, 
you know, cameras are in your face 24 seven. You're expected to get married. You're not expected, but you have an opportunity to get married within five weeks. Um, so you, you really, you want everything to go perfect, perfect. you know? And, and when something little happens and it's not necessarily going perfect for me at that time, it was like, okay, well, if this isn't perfect, then I'm just, I'm going to run away and I'm not going to do it, you know? And that, and that was kind of my mindset then, you know, looking back on it, watching it back was tough. You know, the way I handled it was, it was dead wrong of me to handle it that way. Um, you know, I never, I never called her names or, or really screamed or anything like that, you know, or I never got like aggressive or anything like that, but watching it back, just seeing myself want to leave so quickly and just want to run away. And instead of just sitting there being calm and talking about it, um, I, I wish I could do it a little bit differently. Um, but once again, we, we, we learned from it and we grew from it. Um, but yeah, watching it back was tough. Just wishing that I could have done it a little bit differently, if that makes sense. No, it, makes, it makes total sense. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.